Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Boston Market. This one's a new Boston Market. It's called the Carver's Cuts. This one is the Roadhouse Beef Meatloaf. It is smothered in our sweet and smoky barbecue sauce with a side of herb seasoned red potatoes. Um, these uh, these new, first of all, it says thick cut, 100% beef. These new meals, they're, they're putting the, the sealed packaging with uh, where you can see through it and see the ingredients. I think that's kind of cool. Um, some of them look gross. I have to admit, this one looks pretty good. Some of them, though, you look through the window and you're like, dude, I don't even know if I want to eat that. It doesn't even look good. This one looks pretty good. So it's a 10 ounce meal, 283 grams, uh, which is a pretty good size meal, actually. Uh, we bought these at Meyer. They were $3.99. Um, they had a bunch of these, and I've got other ones I'm going to try uh, over time. But um, yeah, this is the this is like my first one to try of these. So it's not low calorie, that's for sure. 520 uh, calories, but other information as you like it. Whatever you want, whatever you need, whatever you feel you want to look at there, there's the little description of it. And let's see, directions on the top. So I don't see any uh, regular oven directions, so it must be microwave only. So we're going to remove the meal from the carton. Do not pierce or remove the, the uh, seal. We're going to cook it on high for three and a half minutes, and it's normal for the film to balloon. It'll go, it'll look like a pop popcorn container. Um, Jiffy Pop. Um, carefully peel back um, film using a uh, corner tab. Gently stir. Lay the film back over the plate and then do a microwave for another two and a half minutes. So it's a longer cook time, three and a half and two and a half, but I guess it's not too bad. And then let it stand two to three minutes to, before you eat it. So it does have a full tab for us one handed openers. I don't know why they put a full tab on there for people that shouldn't open it normally. It didn't work anyway. It ripped. So, Tear it anyway, doesn't matter. All right, you can see it's not very thick, but it looks like an actual plate. I mean, it looks makes you feel like you're actually eating something at home. Um, and they really did do a good job of vacuum sealing it. It's sealed all the way around really well. There's the tab they're talking about to pull it to, to open it up. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave. I think it looks pretty cool. And I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave. And uh, you can see it's Quite a bit of sauce in there. Everything's got good and covered. Um, with a sweet barbecue, though, you always get this little crust on the side, which I kind of like. I always kind of scrape it off and mix it in, so it's always really good. So, um, but things do tend to stick a little bit more when you've got the sweet sauce. So that's that. And then the meatloaf itself is pretty thick. I'm gonna show you a pretty decent sized hunk of meatloaf there. So, um, so I mean, I'm gonna let this cool off a bit. The potatoes will probably be really hot. And uh, yeah, I'll let it cool off, and I'll be back to let you know what it tastes like. I really didn't let it sit very long, so it had already set for a minute or two in the microwave. I let it, you know, it said to set for uh, two to three minutes, so I already let it set for a couple minutes in the microwave anyway, so, so it didn't take long. So there's, I'm just going to try the potatoes first. Uh, plenty of sauce on everything. They're cooked well. They're good and tender. Um, sometimes when you get microwave potatoes, they're kind of hard. These aren't. They're, they're really good um, texture. The flavor of the sauce itself is okay. It's not like blow me away barbecue sauce, but it's it's good. Um, it just says sweet and, and smoky barbecue sauce and herb seasoned potatoes. I don't get the herb seasoning from the potatoes. I really just get the sauce, the barbecue sauce, because it's all in it. I think they would have had to split the potatoes up completely and not put sauce on them. I mean, they intentionally put sauce on them. You could tell. It had sauce all over them. They're still good. Like I said, the barbecue sauce is not like blow me away barbecue sauce, but it's a good flavor. I mean, it has a good smokiness to it. Let me try a piece of the meat loaf. I, I did cut it just so I can eat it quicker and so it'll cool off. That's what it looks like. It looks like a hamburger patty. It really doesn't look like it has any like onions and um, other stuff in there that you would expect from a meatloaf. Texture-wise, you can tell that it is meatloaf because they've added a, um, whatever you call it, um, they've added something to, to make it that texture. So like breadcrumbs or um, something like that, they've added that to make it a little bit more, um, instead of a dense like hamburger, it's more of a, a softer um, meatloaf texture. So. So that's, texture-wise, it's really good. 
meat-wise, the flavor of the actual beef itself is really good. Yeah, I love the texture. I like the flavor of the meat. I really wish the sauce was a little bit stronger and bolder of a barbecue sauce. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It is really good. But the sauce is just really kind of a... Like I said, it's there. You can tell there's a sweetness there and a little bit of a smoky barbecue sauce flavor. But it's not like... I don't know. It's just not a bold flavor. I wish it was a little stronger, a little smokier, um, a little sweeter, a little bit stronger of a sauce. Beyond that, it's a pretty good meal. With the quality and the amount of food you get, and again, it's 500 and some calories, so it is a higher calorie meal, but you do get a decent amount of food. It's a 10 ounce meal, so it's a pretty good size. Um, with textures, with flavors, all that stuff, it's a it's not as good as a five, definitely not, but it's definitely above average too. It's not a three. Three is kind of like, you know, eh, it's just okay meal. Um, I think I'm gonna give this one a four. It's definitely worth trying. It's a, it's a good meal. And you are left with this flavor of this uh, this meaty meatloaf flavor and the sauce. You get left with that smoky flavor of the sauce. So while I think the barbecue sauce could have been stronger, uh, I think um, you're left with a good flavor in your mouth. And the potatoes, now that I go back to them, you do get a little bit of an herb kind of flavor to them. Um, I don't know what, it, what herb it is, but you do get a um, more of an earthy uh, flavor from them. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a four. Definitely worth trying out. Um, I don't think that's bad, and it wasn't that expensive. I mean, um, $3.49 for the meal, I don't think that's bad for a meal of this size and this this quality. So, um, yeah, give it a four. You should try it out if you get it in your area. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.